Hey AI builders, welcome back to AI Academy. If you're building AI applications in 2025, you've probably heard about vector databases, but which one should you actually choose? Today, we're doing the ultimate showdown, Pinecone versus Weavey8 versus Milvis versus Qdrend. I'll show you real code examples, performance benchmarks, and help you pick the perfect database for your project. Trust me, by the end of this video, you'll know exactly which one to use. Let's dive in. First things first, what exactly is a vector database? Think of it this way. Traditional databases store exact data, like names and numbers, but vector databases, they store the meaning of data as mathematical vectors. When you search for puppy playing, it finds dog having fun because the vectors are similar in meaning. This powers everything from ChatGPT's memory to Netflix recommendations to Google's search results. The magic happens with something called similarity search, finding vectors that are close to each other in mathematical space. And in 2025, there are four major players dominating this space. Here are our fighters. Pinecone, the managed heavyweight. Think of it as the iPhone of vector databases. Everything just works, but you pay premium. Weaviate, the Swiss army knife. Open source with built-in AI models and the most features you can imagine. Milvis, the performance beast. If you need to handle billions of vectors with lightning speed, this is your weapon. Qdrant, the developer's darling. Simple, fast, and feels like it was built by developers for developers. Pinecone. Let's start with Pinecone. It's 100% cloud native and fully managed. You literally just call an API, no servers, no configuration, no headaches. Behind the scenes, Pinecone uses a hybrid indexing approach that combines multiple algorithms for optimal performance. Weewee 8. Weev8 takes a different approach. It's modular and comes with built-in vectorization. You can literally throw raw text at it and it'll convert it to vectors using models like BERT or OpenAI's embeddings automatically. Milvis. Milvis is the performance monster. It's designed to run on Kubernetes and can leverage GPUs for massive acceleration. We're talking about handling billions of vectors with sub-millisecond latency. Qdrent. Qdrent feels like it was designed by developers who actually use vector databases. Clean APIs, excellent documentation, and it just works. Plus, it has some unique features like payload indexing that others don't. Now for the numbers you actually care about. I ran the same dataset, 1,768-dimensional vectors across all four databases. Query latency. Pinecone consistently delivers sub-20 millisecond queries, thanks to their optimized infrastructure. Qdrunt comes very close at 25 milliseconds. Milvis with GPU acceleration is an insane 5 milliseconds, but that's with expensive hardware. Weev8 sits at 35 milliseconds, but remember, it's doing more work with its semantic features. Throughput. Milvis dominates with 10,000 plus queries per second when properly configured. Pinecone handles about 5,000 QPS reliably. Qdrent and Weev8 both hit around 3,000 QPS in my tests. Memory efficiency. Here's where it gets interesting. Qdrent uses the least RAM, about 30% less than the others. This makes it perfect for edge deployments or when you're cost conscious. Indexing speed. Here's where it gets interesting. Milvis can ingest vectors the fastest, but Weaviate's auto vectorization means less pre processing work for you. E commerce recommendation system. Let's say you're building product recommendations for an e commerce site. Here's how each would handle it Document search for a legal firm. For a legal firm searching through thousands of case files. Let's talk money, because this matters a lot for your business. Pinecone starts free with 1 million vectors, then $70 per month for 5 million vectors. Expensive? Yes. Worth it for most businesses? Also yes, because of zero maintenance costs. Weaviate. Open source is free, but you'll spend $200 to $500 per month on infrastructure for a decent setup. Managed cloud starts at $25 per month. Milvus. 
free open source, but factor in DevOps time and infrastructure. A production setup typically costs $300 to $800 per month, including your time. Qdrant, most cost-effective, open source with cloud options starting at $20 per month. You can run a solid production setup for under $100 per month. Here's the real kicker, total cost of ownership. When you factor in developer time, maintenance, and scaling costs, Pinecone often wins for small to medium businesses, while Qdrant dominates the budget-conscious segment. All right, decision time. Here's my honest recommendation based on different scenarios. For startups and MVPs, choose Pinecone if you want to ship fast and don't want to manage infrastructure. It's like paying for Netflix instead of setting up your own media server. More expensive, but infinitely easier. For semantic search applications, Choose Weaviate if you need rich semantic search with filtering. It's the only one with built-in question answering and auto-vectorization that actually works well. For high-performance production systems, choose Milvis if you're handling billions of vectors or need maximum performance. Companies like Shopify and NVIDIA use it for a reason. For developer-friendly projects, choose Qdrant if you want the best developer experience and reasonable costs. It's what I personally use for most projects. Here's my honest assessment matrix. Notice there's no clear winner. It depends on your specific needs. One more thing, you're not locked in forever. Here's how easy it is to migrate between them. Most offer export capabilities so you can start with one and switch later. I'd recommend starting with Pinecone or Qdrant for prototyping, then evaluating others as you scale. After building production systems with all four, here are my personal recommendations. For your first AI project, start with Pinecone. Yes, it's more expensive, but you'll ship faster and learn the concepts without infrastructure headaches. For production applications, if cost matters, go Qdant. If features matter more, choose Viviate. If performance is critical, bite the bullet and use Milvis. For enterprise, Milvis or Viviate depending on whether you need maximum performance or maximum features. Just to give you confidence, Shopify uses Milvis, many Y Combinator startups use Pinecone, and increasingly, smart developers are choosing Qdrant for new projects. Looking ahead to 2025, watch for Qdrant's horizontal scaling improvements, Weaviate's new multimodal capabilities, and Pinecone's cost reductions. Melvis is working on even better GPU utilization. The vector database space is moving fast, so subscribe and hit the notification bell. I'll keep you updated on all the major developments. That's a wrap on our vector database showdown. Which one are you going to try first? Drop a comment below with your use case and I'll help you choose. If this helped you make a decision, smash that like button, subscribe for more AI infrastructure deep dives, and I'll see you in the next one.